I, um, again, um, I don't consider myself a writer. I've written several books. I've written death row books. I've written, which are personal, how, I've written how-to books. I've written blogs. I've written all kinds of things. I've written a lot, a lot of material. I always hated, when I was growing up, I hated writing. You know, I was one of those students, that, I don't, I'm never going to do this, and why do I have to learn? How? You know, um, in order to present yourself, in order to, you know, again, I l prefer the photograph to stand on its own or at least tell most of the story, but I consider photography to be the universal language. You don't have to have a Rosetta Stone. You don't have to have a translator. Somebody in China can see a photograph that you took in Haiti and understand or at least partially understand what is actually going on. So we, we use photography in a way in which we really should give it much more credit in the ability to, 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 to open up the world if we're using it correctly. So I call it, especially with the Pan-Africa project, because we're using the internet. But um, we have to we have to talk about a little bit about what uh, we're actually seeing. Uh, sometimes, uh, again, they go in directly in direct opposition to what we're seeing, what we're looking at. So I write a lot about it, and uh, uh, it's one skill that I've had to really, you know. And basically, what I do, and I know that. You know, they taught us this in high school, but I didn't believe it and I didn't care. But basically what I do is edit. That's all I do is just edit, 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 edit. You know, you write your ideas and then you just start to pare away at it. And, uh, and so, yes, I do a, a great deal of writing, but I consider myself still a photographer.